Welcome to an unboxing that is actually pretty fascinating for me. So this is a, this is going to be two different unboxings at the same time. This is going to be the Color Monkey from X-Rite and the i1 Display Pro from X-Rite. These are both uh, display calibration devices, which have a couple of different well, differences. So the Color Monkey, for example, for starters, can be used for either displays or for projectors. And it can be used in a couple of different ways to achieve that. The whole setup process takes about five minutes and it is useful for a number of different things. So number one is it actually allows you to, so it has a sensor that you, here. And I've opened this before. I've actually used it already. So I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the results. So I decided to do a video about it. So it's got a color sensor here, which you basically put up against the, the screen and then it takes some readings. It changes what's on the screen and then it basically adjusts your, the profile of your, of your video output in order to make it match as closely as possible to what's real. Now what's cool about this is that you then take it and stick it on your desk where it acts as an ambient light sensor and it will continue, if it's still plugged in by USB to your computer, it will continue to adjust your monitor settings according to what the ambient light situation is to make sure that you're always looking at as accurate an image as possible, which is very cool. Like, outstanding. Um, so why would you want the most accurate possible color? Well, if you're working with anything to do with print, then you want to make sure that these colors are as calibrated as these colors and they're both as similar as possible. That's very important. Um, if you're doing anything to do with graphic design, you want to make sure that whatever you're working on is going to look correct no matter where it's being viewed or as close as possible. And you want to, again, be working with as accurate as possible colors. And no, this will not turn your TN panel into, you know, a perfect display for graphic design and photo work. Unfortunately not. You will still need a good high quality display and there's no getting around that, but this will take your non factory calibrated monitor and almost no monitors unless they're very high end professional ones or something like Asus's PA series. We got one over there that we use for our uh, monitoring while we're filming right there. Pro art. Um, those come factory calibrated, but most of them do not. So here you go. You got uh, monitor calibration, ambient light measurement, as well as projector calibration by setting it up on the little stand like this. There's a, there's a way to do this. You're going to have to trust me on this. There you go. You can uh, calibrate your projector that way. Very cool stuff. So before and after, automatic display control, yeah, 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 new state of the art, etc., etc. It's also not that expensive. I mean, it used to be, it wasn't that long ago, that any kind of color calibrator device was going to be running a couple hundred bucks, but. It's not really the case anymore. So something like the Color Monkey is something you could actually buy just for home use, no big deal. Now the i1 Display Pro, the biggest difference that we found was oh oh right, it can be right. So it can be used for fluor fluorescent backlights, LED, as well as wide gamma LCDs. So you don't have to worry about what kind of LCD you have. You know, is it going to work? Is it not going to work? It will work. So this guy right here. Not only can it calibrate your display or your projector, it can also be used for QCing displays. So let's say you are a, I don't know, graphic design studio or something, and you're not buying, you know, $1,500 each monitors that are come pre-calibrated and are perfect. So let's say you're like, you know, a real company that's not running on like a baller budget. You grab one of these, and then the displays that you bring in, you can use this to QC them. You can go, okay, um, I, uh, hold on just a sec. Right, so you can specify what kind of deltas you expect and you can actually display quality check and trending over time. So that's really cool because you can get it to pay attention to, oh yeah, right, and you can actually match multiple monitors and work groups as well. So this is all neat because let's say you have like a lab and you're buying 10 monitors every quarter or whatever else, you can use this to keep track of are they getting better, are they getting worse, are they all matching so that if someone moves from one workstation to another one working on a project, they one to day two, they don't have to make a bunch of adjustments and they won't think that something's wrong. So that's the difference between the more professional oriented one versus the color monkey. So there's also, okay, what else they got here? So you guys can see what they have going for them. You can actually check out the X-Rite site if you want to get more information. Um, trending over time. Do, 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 do. Trending over time is more of an issue with um, CCFL backlit monitors. LEDs don't really suffer from that nearly as much, um, as well as projectors. That's a big deal with projectors. And 
I think that pretty much covers it. So thank you for checking out this dual unboxing of the i1 Display Pro as well as the Color Monkey from X-Ray. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.